unfortunately our lions are also very sleepy at this stage still digesting the remains of whatever they ate last night we still not convinced or or know exactly what the income is fed off. I had theorized that they were the ones that killed that buffalo up near Sydney's Dam and were chased off by the three Birminghams. Once they saw all three there, they thought, well, we're not going to get a look in here and let's move off. And then maybe, just maybe, they killed the other one and was chased off there too. But it would surprise me if they killed that other buffalo that we saw on quarantine because I would have thought they would have gone back to it. I, I don't think they would have stood down to just one male. Uh, on top of that there was really very little eaten off that so maybe they killed somewhere else it is possible but they're still very sleepy you can see they're all inside this quarry thicket they have not moved an inch since I've left them this morning this is exactly where I left every single member effectively there's just one lioness that has moved which is the lioness that's lying out in the open and you can hear there's a couple of birds that are not very happy about the fact that the Nkuma pride is lying here those birds are the green wood hoopoos and they're making a lot of noise in the background and they're just probably quite upset about the fact that there are lions plastered all over underneath their trees. I wonder if they maybe have a nesting site or a roosting site here and that's why they're a little bit upset about the lions being so close. But these lions are definitely not going to go too far. I don't think they're going to wake up anytime soon. <laughs> At this stage it's just buffalo coma all across the Sabi sands. I believe the three Birmingham boys are in a very similar state of recline at the moment. They're all sleeping but what we'll do is we, I think we'll spend little time here with the Nkumas, see if maybe we get lucky, maybe they wake up and decide to go for water. It's a pity that it's not a very hot day, because if it had been a hot day I would have expected them to get up and go drink. Lorena, you say these are your favorite lions? Well, they are an incredible bunch of lions. They're probably some of the most beautiful females that I've seen. They're big, they're muscular, and they really are an efficient force. And we spoke about yesterday that the buffalo had arrived back and wondered if the Nkumas would latch onto them, and it took them no time at all to get involved and get stuck in. Between them and the Birminghams, they're a buffalo's nightmare. And it just amazes me that even though they've had so few opportunities to get buffalo, every single time we've had a buffalo on this property for any sort of reason or group of buffalo should I say the Nkumas have arrived and have made a successful kill out of it so they're a very you know, talented bunch of lions and it's so great that we got another generation that is hopefully going to join these guys because at the end of the day we've got this younger female that's got these cubs and we still don't know how many cubs in total we know definitely two but I reckon there's more I'm 100% convinced that she went and fetched more so I'm hoping that at least sometime in the next few days as we follow this process of her feeding off the kill that we'll be able to follow her one day because the thing is now the den is closed just to go and look at but if we follow her and we go towards the den with her and she's happy enough to take us there then we can at least get confirmation as to how many and see actually if the den is in the same place or if she maybe shifted a little bit sometimes they will move them around over the first few weeks as they move around and try and feed themselves so with a kill like this she might have moved them a little bit closer so it's not such a long walk to go and suckle them every single time so really great that we've got another basically another grouping of lines that's going to come in and hopefully it will keep the Nkuma pride relatively close by during the summer months because that female is not going to be able to move massive distances she's not going to be able to go for weeks at a time away from here because she's obviously got to feed her cubs so hopefully that means that the Nkuma pride becomes a lot more of a permanent fixture within this section and I really hope that this young lioness is going to do well and these her cubs will be raised as well it would be so great to see the Nkuma pride go from the five lines Lionesses. If these li these um, young females in the in the sub adult survive, and then this new lioness has, with her cubs, if they also contribute to the growing of this pride, it would be absolutely fantastic.